Hi guys, the objectives of this video are to look at an example on conservation of mass through a nozzle. So here's our problem. We've been asked to find a relation between V1, V2, A1 and A2. We've been told the flow is steady and here our flow will expand uh, due to this nozzle here. What we need to do is apply the conservation of mass equation to the system. So we saw how to derive that in the previous video. If you haven't seen that before, take a look at the previous video. It's quite helpful to, to understand this equation and each of the terms. So the very first thing we do in all of these types of questions is define the control volume. So in this example, I'm going to take the whole nozzle as the control volume. Uh, labeling is a bit subjective. Um, so I like to just number the surfaces. Uh, and I mean, you can write, draw out the outline of the control volume, but I've just pointed to to the nozzle here, um, and I'm going to call this surface one and surface two. So that's how I I write out the control volume. You can you can change it up if you like. So the reason I've I've selected that. Uh, remember, the trick is to find a control volume with as many boundaries or free surfaces as possible. So if we select the whole nozzle, the boundaries have no flow through them. So along here, there's no flow through them. So the second term in the equation here reduces to zero. We know that that isn't included because it's a steady flow. We get rid of that. We're only dealing with this, but for the um, the out, outer diameter of the, the nozzle, um, for that surface, that will reduce to zero because there's no flow through that surface. And for the other two, the, the two surfaces that I've numbered, uh, there's a flow through there, and we know what V and A are, so it makes it simpler when doing our calculations. So now we're going to apply this equation for those two surfaces. Uh, once again, remember uh, your labeling, so uh, CV surface depends on what you're talking about. I'm going to have my integral for the first surface, my row. and v dot n and that will be v1 multiplied by da and then I have the integral for the second surface surface 2 the same row row is constant and I have v2 dot n and that of course equals 0 so now we're going to integrate remembering that our n always points away from the control volume. So since uh, surface 1, at surface 1 there's an inflow, our n will point away towards the left, our v1 will point to the right. If we take the dot product of them, we'll get a negative value. 